are there some examples of things that's ha that are happening in your organization that you see are even covertly helping people experience that sense of peace and confidence that will have performance? At Prudential, one thing that made a huge difference for us in coping, in becoming more resilient, in, in trusting that we could go through the epidemic with confidence and still produce the best work was our leadership team. Our CEO mm -hmm. talked to us on video from his home very informally every week. Mm -hmm. And he didn't talk to us about the business. He didn't talk to us about the economic impact of the pandemic on our business. He talked about the well-being of the employees. He talked about his own vulnerabilities, his own experiences. Wow. It was the most personal connection mm. we had. And that made a huge difference. I, you can ask anyone at Prudential today if they felt supported, if they feel, felt that our leaders were behind them. They felt that they could cope because the resources were there. They're going to say yes. I guarantee you. But it doesn't take much, does it? It just takes self-awareness from leaders to start focusing on what matters the most. Even with the worries that he probably had about the business globally. But he chose to make that cognitive decision about letting that aside and show up hmm. it was truly authentic about himself and what he believed our our people need to hear so that makes a huge difference was there a um, parallel uh, ability for people to respond to him in any way or was it just a one-way communication no actually that's a great question it was interesting that people start feeling the connection with our ceo to a point of becoming more informal. There was an individual, for example, that, that, that noted that there was something behind him that there was a picture of something they didn't understand what it was. And they asked him, hey, what is that picture behind you? Oh, really? <laughs> so the dialogue became a two-way dialogue. And when the racial equity movement started emerging, it was the same. We shut down our communications, one side communication and start just asking for the dialogue, asking for the dialogue. Many companies did that, but, but I feel there is a genuine way of doing it that connects with people and people trust that you care about them. And I think that made a huge difference. I feel very connected to the inclusion of Prudential because I do believe our leaders have their best intentions and that's, that goes a long way with us. So uh, it comes down to listening, not just speaking. Yes. Yeah. Two way. Yeah. Truly uh -huh. listening and being engaged with that listening. <laughs>